If you've been around the financial community online, you know the name of Warren Buffett and his reputation. His stalwart and disciplined approach to investing has made him ultra wealthy. If you are going to take advice from anyone, it seems he is your guy. Today, we will pick apart some of his recent guidance for investors. With uncertainty peaking in financial markets, a crash hasn't seemed this likely since the beginning of the pandemic. As an investor, you need to be prepared for any possibility. If the crash is on the horizon, you need to be absolutely clinical as you handle your wealth. A market crash is frightening, but it can pose lucrative possibilities for those who stick to the fundamentals laid out by stock market veterans like Warren Buffett. Stick around until the end though. We are going to hook you up with three valuable pieces of advice. One is an investing strategy, the other is a mentality, and the last is a warning. You'll want to have a handle on all three before any possible crash if you are trying to come out on the other side with profits. Welcome back to Profit Protection. On our channel, we bring you news about ideas and information from the thought leaders in the financial world. We break down headlines about financial markets, cryptocurrency, and digital assets from the people who understand them the best. If you found this channel educating and entertaining, we would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. This is the easiest way to support us so we can continue to bring you high quality content. The market is showing up some concerning signs of late. The US economy in particular has been pulled up and down drastically by different forces and inflation is speaking for itself. The dollar is losing value as the prices of goods and services rise. This has put the economy in a precarious position. Warren Buffett has seen both money and the market fluctuate wildly during his time in business. At over 90 years old, the founder of Berkshire Hathaway uses his experience to hand out level-headed opinions to those who listen. Even a year ago, he was preaching about the dramatic rise in prices. So what were Warren Buffett's comments on rising inflation? He admitted the following at the Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting last May. We're seeing very substantial inflation. It's very interesting. I mean, it, it, we're raising prices. People are raising prices to us. Uh, and it's being accepted. I mean, it's not... Uh, if we get... Well, you know, take home building. I mean, uh, you know, the cost of... We've got nine home builders and, and in addition to our manufactured housing thing and then uh, operation, which is the largest in the country. So we really do a lot of housing. <laughs> the costs are just up, up, up. Steel costs, uh, you know, just every day uh, they're, they're going up. And it, it, there, there hasn't yet been because the wage, the wage stuff follows. I mean, if the... The UAW writes a three-year contract. We got a three-year contract. But if you're buying steel at General Motors uh, or someplace, you're paying more every day. Uh, so uh, it's it's an economy really. Uh, it's red hot. I mean, and we weren't expecting it. It's clear that even seasoned investors and businessmen like Warren Buffett and his partner Charlie Munger were not able to predict the severity of a shutdown economy and the inflation that followed. Housing in particular has been hit hard, as he mentions. Materials for everyday businesses are skyrocketing in price. So, some background on the current state of the market. Let's take a step back and examine the unique situation that our monetary system is in. Due to the shutdown of the economy during the COVID-19 pandemic, both businesses and the general population were struggling to get by. In response to this, the government printed massive amounts of money to bail everyone out. This certainly helped in the short term, but the repercussions soon followed. 80% of all US dollars in existence were printed between January 2020 and October 2021. Naturally, this devalued the currency. Inflation began rearing its head quickly as money was pumped into the market. At the same time, the economy struggled to fully reopen. Not every industry was ready to come back full swing and an added layer of supply chain issues created new sets of problems. Only now is the business world beginning to stand on its own, but the looming issue of inflation remains. For many analysts, a market crash seems incredibly likely. The standard Federal Reserve response to inflation would be to raise interest rates. Unfortunately, neither businesses nor the average citizens could afford high enough interest rates to contain this new inflation. This leaves the government between a rock and a hard place. Either way, fixing the economy won't be pretty. If you want to dive into a little more depth on our current inflation situation, we highly recommend our recent video on Ray Dalio and stagflation. He does a great job of explaining things. 
All right, things aren't looking so hot. So how should you navigate a possible market crash? There are some ways to deal with market crashes, and make a financial downturn look a little brighter for you. If you do it right, it could even change your life to the tunes of millions in profit. In the regular years of a stock market, prices gradually increase. It's difficult to make crazy gains that add commas to your bank accounts. In the scenario of a market crash, nobody wants the stocks. They fall rapidly and bleed people's investments dry. That being said, it can also present a chance for you to drastically change your financial standing. Let's look at three principles that can help you turn the nation's recession into your personal profit machine. Number one, invest in businesses, not stocks. Often, investors get caught up in only one number when looking at a stock, the price. While it is certainly necessary to base your decision on the current value of a company's stock, this is far from the only factor to consider. Another key metric to understand the role of interest rates for investments. Because everything in valuation gets back to interest rates. And if you take the U.S. Treasury bill now, we'll call it 80 basis points, that's what maturity, that means the U.S. Treasury bill is selling at 125 times earnings. Now, if, that, if your alternative is to buy something at 125 times earnings or a good business whose earnings will probably increase at 15 or 18 times earnings, you've got to measure it against the, the, uh, uh, the risk. Like Buffett described, when you're looking for investments during a time of monetary inflation, it can skew your idea of returns. Bonds can be enticing, but they're based on the current and predicted economic situation. Buying a business's stock comes with some of the same risks, such as debt being affected by interest rates. Similarly, bad economic times will affect profits. The difference here is that you can invest in a management team with a flexible operation, not just a number on a chart. Over time, and if chosen correctly, a good company will make an impact on its own stock price that bonds and other investments cannot. Number two, when you are searching for investments, it's also important to remember that your mentality affects your success. You've probably heard this before. It's Warren Buffett's most famous line. We must be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. But how do we apply this to our investment goals? At its most basic, this is about self-control and emotional regulation. If you are holding stock and begins to drop rapidly, your first instinct will be to sell and cut your losses. There are two reasons a stock may be falling, and this is the correct reaction to only one. Let's take, for example, a failing industry. Maybe you are invested in DVD and video game rental companies. Others are likely fearful that this particular market is on its way out, so they sell. As the stock loses momentum, you can see that the industry as a whole is coming to a close. Stocks in these positions do not rise again, and cutting your losses is smart. On the other hand, let's look at the current losses that we see in the S&P 500 and other market indices. This is not because that all these companies are failing. Other forces are moving the market, such as inflation fears and the threat of war. It is generally outside influences like this that can cause fluctuations in price. If this is the case, then the market can be expected to rise once again to higher levels as it always has. Yes, even in the case of a market crash. History may not repeat itself, but it certainly rhymes. Here's why we see being fearful when others are greedy can lead to you losing wealth prematurely. The right course of action would be to not sell at a loss, despite everyone jumping ship. Your stock will almost certainly rise again unless the company goes under. Furthermore, if you have extra money, it would be time to get greedy and buy up cheap stocks. This is one major key to the millions the major investors make, especially during a market crash. Number three, our last piece of advice also comes from the man himself. Only invest what you can afford to lose. If you've spent any time on trading forums around the internet, you'll often see horrendous losses where naive investors borrowed money or emptied their savings to hit it big. Unfortunately, it's impossible to predict the market and their lives become burdened with massive debt as they struggle to get back on their feet. There's no guarantee that the market or any stock will go back up with a certain time frame. For this reason, investing money that you could need in the near future could leave you trapped with growing interest or watching your money devalue in front of your eyes. As a rule of thumb, only invest what you can afford to lose. Cryptocurrency is changing the way we understand money and value. It is helping the regular layperson take back control of what they do with their finances. We truly appreciate your views here at Profit Protection. We are bringing you valuable information and ideas from the thought leaders across the finance, cryptocurrency, and digital asset spaces. If you enjoy this channel and have learned anything from it, please offer your support by liking and subscribing. It helps us to continue bringing you high quality content that both educates and entertains. Once again, thank you for tuning in. 
See you next time.